Deep neural networks have taken the world by storm. They are outperforming other machine learning algorithms in many domains and have brought artificial intelligence, or AI, back to the center of the tech industry. In this section, we'll briefly learn what deep networks are and how to use them from within OpenCV. We load pre-trained network models and use them for object recognition. Every week we hear news reports of deep learning or deep neural networks achieving human or even superhuman abilities to more and more tasks. But what are deep networks? Artificial neural networks were originally a biologically inspired programming paradigm which enables a computer to learn from observational data. Instead of specifying an algorithm for performing a task such as image or speech recognition or natural language processing, the network is given a large amount of observational training data consisting of what outputs are expected for each input, and the network learns and generalizes this to future unseen examples. Artificial neural networks have been around for decades, however their performance breakthrough came around 2012 with the availability of very very large datasets for training and high performance GPUs for the parallel computations needed for training on such large datasets. Deep learning is a powerful set of techniques for training and learning in neural networks. An in-depth review of deep learning is beyond the scope of this course and deserves a full course on its own. In this video, we'll get a taste of what deep networks are and a little bit of intuition about the structure and underlying mathematical concepts. A network's input is an ordered set of values of a known predefined size. This can be a one-dimensional vector, like an audio sample, a 2D matrix, such as an image, three-dimensional data, like three-channel image, video, or any other data as the network was trained on. Each value in the input can be thought of as a node in a graph and specifically a node in the input layer of the graph. From each node, graph edges go out to additional nodes at subsequent layers. These internal layers are called the hidden layers. Each such edge is weighted by some scaling factor and the weighted sum of all incoming edges into a hidden node will be the value at that node. The last layer is called the output layer which corresponds directly to the solution of the problem the network was trained to solve. Since all we have are weighted sums, all operations are linear and efficiently performed using basic algebra with matrix multiplications or convolutions. Note that linear operations are naturally differentiable. In addition to the linear operations, many layers also apply a nonlinear regularization function to the hidden node value. There are several common such functions, like the classic tan h, the hyperbolic tangent function, the sinusoid, rectified linear units, and more. All of these functions approximate a threshold to some extent, with the advantage of being differentiable. Differentiability is an extremely important property of the network, since training the network requires using the backpropagation algorithm, which works by propagating the classification error back from the output towards the inputs and adjusting the weights to reduce the output error. This error propagation can only be performed if all operations in the network are differentiable. Deep neural networks are networks with a large number of internal layers. Recent state-of-the-art results have been achieved by networks with hundreds of internal layers with millions of nodes and weights. Many recently proposed network architectures have been used to achieve breakthrough results on many long-standing problems in AI. Due to the large datasets and huge networks, training them requires considerable time and computational resources. These may be on the order of weeks on thousands of GPUs, usually beyond the reach of most developers. Developers. However, once a network is trained, it can be used quite efficiently to classify or solve a problem that it was trained for. There are multiple tools and libraries for constructing and training deep networks. These include TensorFlow, Cafe, Torch, Keras, and Theano. Re-implementing yet another deep learning library could be considered outside the scope of OpenCV. Instead, OpenCV provides utilities for loading and running models or networks pre-trained by popular deep learning frameworks such as Cafe, TensorFlow, and Torch. Deep learning is a quickly evolving field, and new network architectures, problem formulations, and pre-trained models are being published and released all the time. OpenCV tries to remain abreast with these developments, and indeed support for new network layer types is being constantly added. In fact, OpenCV supports two APIs for loading and using DNNs. The Deep Neural Network module, CVDNN, provides a rich set of features 
for loading DNN models and many layer types. In OpenCV 3.2, it resides in the OpenCV contrib repository, but in following versions, it has moved to the main repository. In order to keep up with the fast pace of DNN development, OpenCV is also integrating the externally developed, header-only, tiny DNN library under the CV DNN2 Deep Learning Modern Module. This module is still being developed and thus supports less import features than the CV DNN module. It is currently found only in post 3.2 version development branches on the OpenCV contrib repository. OpenCV also has a non-deep learning type artificial neural network algorithm in the machine learning module. However, that implementation is not suitable for training such large networks. I only mention it here for completeness.